Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Barbell, and welcome back to some more Skyrim action. In the last video, we acquired... <gasps> what is it? Dragons? You ruined my dramatic reveal, you asshole. We got Lydia in the last episode. Our sword and shield are shorter to cry on because we are a terrible mage and we're depressed about it. So yeah, finally, Lydia is here, which means it is time to begin the journey up to Dawnstar. I'm gonna go ahead and place a marker. And this is gonna be one hell of a journey. We're currently here in Whiterun. We have to walk all the way up to Dawnstar. Thankfully, it's a trip that's pretty much straight north, so it shouldn't be too big a deal, I guess. Uh, looks like there's a pass right through the mountains here, so we won't have to cross over any wonky peaks or anything. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started here. I'm gonna go ahead and check my supplies. Ooh, Axe of Whiterun. This will come in handy because we're a mage and we use all the axes. Uh, Amulet of Talos. Do I have any amulets equipped? I don't think so, so I might as well just plop that on. Uh, I need an out or not an alchemy table. Um, enchanting table. Disenchant that junk. Uh, some potions. I think I have fireball scrolls. Yep. Uh, okay. So, what I'm gathering here is I have absolutely nothing for the journey, which is pretty awesome. Uh, someone in the last, or someone made a comment, I think it was on my first video, but they made the comment today. I'm going to go ahead and head through the door since it takes like six years to load while I talk. Uh, someone made a comment on my first video of this series that there was an, a uh, shrine of Talos. Uh, he didn't really mention exactly where it was, but he said when you were going down, it was to the left. So I can only imagine that it was when we exited the cave uh, from Helgen, and then we were going down the path. He said to the left, there was an, a uh, shrine to Talos, and there was uh, <clears throat> robes, enchanted robes and enchanted junk. And I said I would check that out. So I don't know if I should run up there first. And see what's on and popping and see if I can find this uh, shrine to Talos. I think I will. But the question is, should I record the journey all the way back? Because that's going back to Riverwood and then back up the hill. Which is, if you hadn't figured it out, the opposite direction to Dawnstar. You know what? Let's check the old map here. So we're just going to go down here. Uh, there's a Guardian Stones back up the path. I think it goes like this. So I'm guessing the Shrine to Talos is somewhere in this area. You know what? <laughs> Let's do it. I plan on recording everything I do in this game, so I'm not going to be cutting anything out. Unless there's just, just something beyond ridiculously boring that just needs to be cut. But I don't know what an example that would be. Unless maybe I need to get up from the computer. And I just leave my game running and I'm just standing there for 30 minutes. That might need to be cut, but other than that, I'm not sure. So, try to get there as quickly as possible. Hello, Lydia. I need to craft her some better armor. But, oh god, how long is this going to take? Surprisingly not long, but let's see what my smithing is. Whoop, passed it. Whoop, whoop, 16. No perks invested, of course, because I'm a mage. So, that's a thing. And I'm only level 4. Which is weird, because usually I'm... <clears throat> I'm accustomed to approaching white run when I'm, like, level 10 or higher. Whoa, voice crack! That's embarrassing! <laughs> level 10 or higher. But I wanted to get through the beginning main story quests as quick as possible, because they are boring. Everyone's seen them. Everyone's been through them. So I wanted to get through that junk. So I could begin the Dawnstar journey as quickly as possible. Who's this dude? It's a Whiterun dude. Oops, sorry. Totally didn't mean to do that. I lied. Uh, yep, here's the path to go back up. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I plan on walking everywhere and not fast traveling. Because you never know what you're going to find out here. So you're kind of missing out on... 
Whoop. Had to mess with my headphones. You never know what you're going to find out here. You might miss out on something interesting if you fast travel all over the place. Now, of course, if I'm going somewhere like Solstheim, which is the Dragonborn DLC, it requires you to fast travel there. So, uh, who are you? Are these vampires or are they the dudes that walk around trying to kill Daedra? You speak to a vigilant of Stendhal. Uh -huh. Cavort with any Daedra and we will hunt you down. Maybe I have. What you know about that? You hunt Daedra? Daedra? And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? Your face is an abomination. But are the worst. Oh! Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Okay, so they follow Stendar, Stendar the God of Mercy, apparently. Sometimes vampires will kill the vigilants and uh, take their robes and then pretend to be vigilants and then attack you when you approach them or get near. <clears throat> uh, but usually they're stupid and they leave the bodies of the vigilants just lying right, ne right next to their feet, so it's pretty easy to figure it out. They're like, uh, hey, brah, want to hear about the, vigilant of uh, the vigilance of Stendar? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'd be okay with that, but you have some dead bodies at your feet. And they're like, oh, yeah, about that. And then they start attacking your face. Just your face. Nothing else. Just your face. So, that's usually kind of awkward. And then I killed them. True story. <laughs> Alright, so we're approaching Riverwood here, finally. Hopefully I can find this thing, or this whole journey is pointless. If that's the case, I might actually just cut that out. So there's another example of what could be cut from the recordings. So yeah, how you guys doing? How you doing today? How you feeling? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I don't want anyone to have a bad day. Is our blacksmith dude here? What time is it? Nah. Maybe I'll swing by there on the way back. The hell is this? Burn, bucket. Burn. <laughs> Some smoke getting your face there, Lydia. Sorry about that. One thing that I was kind of surprised about when I first started playing Oblivion and then Skyrim is these strongholds, or cities, example being Whiterun, or whatever. Uh, I can't really remember the names of the cities from Oblivion except for Kavach, but basically my point is I was kind of surprised at how small the cities were. Um, like they had castles and stuff, but they just weren't very big. And I guess I'm, I'm sure that's because, you know, since it's a game and all, you're not supposed to have really lifelike sized cities and stuff. That would be a little ridiculous. But I don't know. I was just a little surprised. Just trying to make conversation while I make my way up here to the Shrine of Talos. If I can find it. So far, I haven't run into any bandits or. The orc that thinks he's all tough shit, and then you beat him up and kill him, and then he's like, oh, okay, you killed me, and then he's dead. Hello, rabbit. Is this the area? No, I think I should go up a little further. Over here? This looks like a path. Oh, this better be it. I well, hear somebody mining junk. Oh, this better be it. This better be worth it. Because the guy who left a comment actually said that there were robes of destruction, and I actually need those because all I have are regular novice robes. Oh, this is the cave entrance to the Helgen thingy, isn't it? Uh, pff, crap. Uh, hmm. 
Let's see if I can spot it from up here. Up. Uh, oh, what? Oh, there's a wolf that just killed a bunch of camper dudes. Show yourself. Wow. And then Lydia had to finish the job and send him flying in the opposite direction. Because she is a gangster and can do that. I should really be embarrassed. Can't even kill a single wolf on my own. Lydia has to do everything. Uh, closed boots. Nice. Wow, you guys were really just packing everything, I guess. For a second, I thought that was the shrine, but nope. Hmm. Well, I don't see it. Crap, 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 crap. I know I've heard about it before. And it's obviously in this general area, but I can't... Uh, nope. Nope, nope. Poop. Poop everywhere. I don't want this to be a wasted journey all the way up here, but... You know, that might just be the case. Unless I have to stumble across it over here. He said to the left. There's the path. This is to the left. Ooh, there's some stuff. Stuff is good. Usually. Unless it's bad stuff. Bad stuff is bad. There's your you don't say moment of the day. Hmm. Well, I don't have a pickaxe for this anyway, so. Ah. No, it obviously wouldn't be here. This is like <laughs> the mountainside. Ho hum, ho hum. Man, she'll lose Lydia. Don't know where she is. Oh, I hear her. Hello. To the left. Is that a, is that a, uh, spriggan or is that just bees? Ooh, skill book. Light armor. <clears throat> I'm going to be using that, actually, so maybe this wasn't a total loss. And a little lockpicking experience. Nope. Yep, yep. Sure. Oh, really? Bite of a flea? I didn't know fleas shot lightning. Ah! Surprise Lydia from behind, brah. She got you in the booty. Oh, there's another dude behind me. Holy shit. If you're gonna go, that's the way to do it. Flying at light speed downhill. I just hear a bear trap go off. Alright. Oh, gotta loot the bodies, of course. Gold, yes. Actually, I don't know how much stuff I should take, because I'm gonna have to sell it eventually. Can't carry everything, unfortunately. Boots. 
Oh, where's our light speed dude? There he is. There's a hunter, I think. I don't think I have anything I can sell to him. Or if I do, he doesn't have much money. He has a, usually all the hunters I've encountered have like 20 gold max. I think. Okay, now I'm way over here. If it's not up here, I'm just going to give up on this crap. Found a house. Probably has a bear in it. It's going to eat my face. What the fuck? Really? Troll deer right there. What did I just pick up? Picked up something I don't want because of the stupid deer. Scared me. Ah, <laughs> uh, woodcutter's axe. Don't need that. Alright. And I think this is just a path to the cave that's up ahead on the- Whoa! Yeah! It's alright, Lydia, I got this one. Nope, that's definitely the cave entrance. You know what? Oh! Oh, it's a stray dog. I almost took that dude out! To dinner in a movie. Alright. No idea where it is. That sucks. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to continue to look for it, but I'm going to pause the recording here and find it. So I'll be right back, bros. Okay, guys, so guess what? Remember when I was on this mountainside here and I said, it wouldn't be over here. This is the mountainside. Well, if I just walk like five more feet, bam, there it is. <laughs> now, that's just my luck. All right, I'm going to try not to break my damn legs coming down here. Finally found it. This better be worth it. Hooded monk robes, awesome. Uh, gold, thank you. Gold, thank you. Downmore soldier, what are you doing here? Downmore orders, guess I'll find out. Downmore boots, gloves. Wait a minute. What do these do exactly? Uh, destruction spells. Wow, these robes suck. All right. Okay, let's read the Thalmor orders. Agent Sanyan, in response to your report to 22nd Morning Star 401, your request for an expeditionary force is hereby denied. Ouch. Sanyan, this is the seventh report you have filed this month and not one of your leads, not one, has turned up so much as a shred of evidence that a Talos shrine exists in the Lake Illinalta region. No prisoners, no documents, nothing. Our forces are stretched thin enough as it is, and I have better missions, better agents to assign them to. If you feel so sure of your informant, investigate this yourself. Come back with proof or not at all. By my hand and seal, Ellen Wynn. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, some gold. There's the shrine. Do I have any diseases? Besides ugly face? Nope. Anything up here? No destruction robes. Nothing. Not a damn thing of importance. That sucks. Unless I'm missing it. Crap. Man, it took forever to get here. Oh, man. Alright. Well, I tried. And for the user who commented on my video, here's the shrine. 
Thanks for the comment. Sucks there's no stuff here. Maybe I'm just unlucky and it didn't spawn or something, but... Thank you for the comment. Now I'm going to head back. <clears throat> head back up to Whiterun. Probably going to go to the stables, but I'll cut that out as well. So I will see you guys at the Whiterun stables to begin the journey to Dawnstar. For real this time, I promise. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I'm here at the stables. Now it is time to head north. Probably not going to get very far because this episode has dragged on long enough with locating this stupid shrine. So I'm guessing I'm probably going to get to around this area. Probably. Unless something really stupid happens. Which I hope it doesn't. Sometimes in this area there are saber cats. And bears. And lions. Oh my. But <laughs> They kicked my booty. Thankfully, I have Lydia here to clean them up. Hmm. I might actually stop by. There's a mine up ahead. Ah, but I don't know. They have a pretty crazy bandit chief in there. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll... I'll what are you doing? Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Where the hell does he think he's going? Oh! <laughs> See you later, fuckers. Alright. I'm probably going to head up to this bandit camp. Yeah, I'll talk to Bandit Camp, and I'm just going to end it after that. Hopefully I don't get destroyed by the Bandit Chief. That's what Lydia is for, because she's awesome. Go! Onward and upward! Okay, so the fortress just kind of... Faded into view. Interesting. I wonder how low I have the graphics set on this. That might be the reason why. Or it's a ghost fortress. Alright, it's time to do some work. Oops, wrong button. Alright, finally a skill level up. I haven't had one of those in a while. Show yourselves. Oh no, a mage! I'll drain your magicka. Oh, Lydia, really? My poor dragger is all by himself because you're stuck there in the little pond. Well, at least he's going ham. Alright, one down. The mage is down. That's good. Mages are really, really annoying to fight in this game. Unless you're me, because I suck as a mage. Oh, Lydia made it out. Awesome. Dude sits there and taunts when he's getting attacked by three people at the same time. Brilliant! Get in there, Dragger. Let me through, guys. I can help. I just helped. <laughs> See? I'm the biggest of help. I don't know why I'm getting so close. I can attack from long range. Old habits die hard. Like I said, I'm used to the sword. The sword junk. We win. We have taken the fort. Uh, not much loot, though. Damn it. Damn it. Wow, I just took both of those stupid axes. I'm going to axe them from my inventory. Ha! Huh. That was stupid. Man. Oh, right. Cool. Let's have a seat and enjoy the view. Isn't that nice? Okay, moving on. 
Whoa, sick tricks in the air jumping over Lydia. Like Tony Hawk up in here. Alright, now these dudes in here are jerks. Alright. Let's see what's up in here. I know there's a transmute spell sitting on the table. So that might come in handy. I guess. I don't have a pickaxe though, so like, what's the point? But, you know. I'm going to save my magicka for summoning the dragger until... Oh! I wonder if I can just go super ham on this dude. Oh yeah! I'm just that good. Here's a question, and if anyone knows, please answer. Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> doing backflips, doing all the tricks. Uh, can you do sneak attacks with magic? If somebody asked me that question, I'd say no, but maybe I'm wrong. So if you know the answer, please feel free to leave a comment and correct me, Mammoth Tusk. Whoa, those are worth a good amount. And I know the lady in Whiterun needs one. Uh, pickaxe? Man. Alright, alright. I'll get the pickaxe. I'll mine this junk. Here's another question. Man, it's trivia day today. If you give Lydia the pickaxe, can she mine for you? And will it actually uh, gather resources if she does it? I've tried before, and usually she says, can't do that, even if she has a pickaxe, so... Maybe I just fail as a leader and she ignores my orders. Or maybe you just can't actually do it. So if you know that as well, please let me know. I suppose I could just look it up online after I play, but... I don't know. I'd like to engage with the audience. Because it's just fun. We got an amethyst out of that. Oh, missed some back here. Now this is exciting gameplay right here, folks. This is partially why I didn't want to even pick up a pickaxe in the first place. It just takes forever. Actually, you know what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm amazed to be feared. Spells that take up all my magic in one use and a pickaxe. What you know about that? Look at that! You can mine that way. I'm getting all kinds of text messages. Holy crap, this is a mega spam text message. If anyone's curious, it says, Bioga, bioga, bioga. I'm home early, early, early. I saw you recording, so I figured I'd text you yes. So thank you, Maverick, for that wonderful text message. I will hit you up on Steam right after I finish recording here. Thank you for not spamming me in Steam. Not many people are that considerate. Because we are the best of friends. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I said this, but yeah, you can mine like this. What you know about that? Am I missing completely? Meanwhile, there's a bandit chief and two cronies down there, and they don't even care. Oh my god, there's so much iron everywhere. Oh my gall. I apologize, guys, but... I said I was going to record pretty much everything, and this is everything. Alright. Sup, y'all? Ooh, do I have flames? Do I have flames? I can light that junk up. Oh, conservation. God, I fail. Uh, destruction. I probably just lit my own uh, dragger on fire. Because I'm smart. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's almost dead. I'm an idiot. And there's the bandit chief that wrecked my shit. Ow. Ah, there's another storm mission there. All my magicka will be useless. Die. Thankfully, Lydia is just a massive tank and doesn't even care that she's getting attacked by, like, a Warhammer dude. I helped you, Lydia. I helped... And now I just get to sit here and watch this epic battle because I have no magic. I'm such a sorry excuse for a mage right now. Oh crap, he's winning. Ooh, do I have heal other? If I do, I'm actually going to use that. Uh, restoration. Oh, healing hands. He messed to the rescue! And that's all I have. You're on your own again. Oh, level up. Hello. I'm going to take that now because it gives you free magicka. That's a no-brainer. Um. Ooh. Uh, that's pretty cool. I think I'll take that. Yes. Now let's see exactly how much that helped. Wow, not bad. That JPG. Oh god, yes! Okay, maybe not. Later. Oh yeah, you tell him, Lydia. You what filthy you orc. What you, gonna do? what you gonna do when they come for you? Oh, come on. Piss off with this. Oh, so it was an actual kill cam. Never mind. Cool, 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 cool. He's dead. Let us do our dance. Let me show you the dance of my people on your corpse. All right, that was awesome. Ooh, Potion of the Berserker, that will come in handy. Up. Oh. Didn't want to do that. Um, I have to kind of look at my keyboard. Yeah, sure, why not, I'll learn that. I have to look at my keyboard around my microphone because I have my microphone like, right in front of my face. Uh, huh, huh. Whoa, did that say diamond? Ah, come on. Oh, the cake and the diamond. You troll book. Die. I thought I found a diamond. Those things are worth like 800, I think. Nice, nice. Really nice. Take a nap with your bro. Oh, here we go. I got a perfect thing for you. There you go. Get a good old whiff of that. Just, just, yeah, just take it all in. Ooh, coin purse. Anything else in here? Oh no you don't. Don't you block my way. Uh, more tusk, 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 tusk. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to stop at White Run on the way back. Or stop at White Run before I actually head out to Dawnstar because I have a bunch of Mamba Tusks that are very heavy, but they have a, they're worth a lot of money. Um, weapons. But I'll stop by White Run. Right run, white run <laughs> in the next episode, so. Because this one has lasted forever. I'll cut a little bit out because finding that stupid shrine took about six years. Not exaggerating at all. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not actually hitting it. Come on, man. Well, pick exception here. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. All right, that's enough of that. And out there, I think, is just a dead elk because of a stupid uh, trap, which I've fallen in before. One of these times when I played Skyrim, I fell into that stupid spike trap that's out there, and then I fought through this cave, I went out, and I went back up there, and I fell through the same trap again. I was like, are you serious? And yes, the game was serious. It had the biggest troll face on. Ooh, what's this? Is that it? Please let that be it. Ooh. Fuck your flute. Okay, I think we're out of here. Gonna peace on out. Uh, did I loot you? I did. I'll let you keep the key to this place. Anywho, just going to go ahead and exit the mine here. I think I'm just going to end the episode because it's lasting forever. I think I've said that three times now. So how much progress have I made to Dawnstar? Honestly, looking at this, it's really not that far. Maybe two more episodes to get there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of running around, but... I made up for it by going ham in this uh, bandit camp. So, yeah. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. So, take care, everybody. Bye.